Congratulations to the whole family on your 2018 Dodge Grand Caravan with the front passenger Bruno turning automotive seat and the Bruno curbsider lift in the rear. Uh, do a quick walkthrough around the van. The van has been cleaned up, ready to go. Just waiting on transportation to pick it up. Do a quick walkthrough. So here I'm gonna show you how to use the turning automotive seat. So inside here we have our little friendly teddy bear. So first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is unbuckle the seat belt. Next, we're gonna have our controls here. So if you look on the display here, you'll see that if you hit the right button, the seat's just gonna move forward. And then if you hit the left button, the seat's gonna move back. And if you hit the up and the down, so up will bring it in, down will bring it out. So we press and hold this, and we'll start to turn the seat out. And of course, you can stop it at any time by letting go. There is a optional foot plate here where you can use if needed, or you can just have it up. And you just continue to hold it and it'll come and deploy out. And of course, that's how far low it goes. If we're ever, ever having any issues with the seat, we will see this warning pop up. And it says the turning has lost its position. Uh, this can typically happen if the battery in the car is starting to go down and it drops voltage as it, the seats go in, in or out. And you'll get this menu. So you can go ahead and scroll down and you can kind of read everything. And if you hit right, We'll take you to this menu. Uh, so this seat has three motors. You have one for the forward and back, one for the swivel, and one for the up and down. So with this menu, we can electronically bring the seat back inside the vehicle. So what we do is you can scroll through by, hold, by pressing the up button. So this is forward and back, this is swivel, this is seat up and down. So from here, if we hit left, it'll go up, if we hit right, it'll go down. So in this case, we want to hit left, and that's going to bring the seat all the way up. Now, once the seat goes all the way up, you'll notice that the uh, up icon will dim out, and I'll tell you that the seat is all the way in. So right now, I'm just holding the button, letting the seat go all the way up. If there's any obstruction in the way, then we can adjust. But in this case, you just wanna make sure we're not, the seat's not gonna hit anything as it's going in. So we're just gonna keep going up. So I don't know if you notice, the icon dimmed out. So next thing we're gonna to wanna to do is scroll through our menu. We wanna go and turn the seat. So from there, so if we hit right, we'll swivel it out. If we hit left, we'll swivel it in. So we're gonna to wanna to swivel it just enough to where it doesn't hit anything. So right there, it's gonna hit down there and hit up there. So we're gonna to wanna to go to the slide menu and wanna slide the seat back. And then we're gonna hit right down there. So next thing we wanna do is go back to the swivel menu and continue the turn. So it's getting kind of close right there. So now we wanna continue to slide back 
and we can continue the turn. And same thing, you'll notice that the icon will dim out once it's turned all the way. There you go, icon dimmed out. And then from there, we'll slide this all the way back. And then once you go what's in what's called the home position where the seat is all the way up, turned, and all the way back. And if you notice, the remote automatically reset. And if we hit it again, the seat will start working again and it will come out as, as normal. So if we're bringing out the seat and we see this menu that pops up on our display here, that is indicating that the, that the back is reclined too far back. And in order to bring it down lower, we need to bring the back forward a little bit. And from there, now we can bring it down further. One. If the seat has complete power failure, where you have no lights on the controller here, um, then there's an additional way of how to bring the seat back in. So you wanna grab the seat, fold it back from here. You have this yellow tab. Go ahead and release the yellow tab and pull it out. You can grab it from the bottom of the seat and lift. When you lift, you'll be able to slide the whole thing back in. Next, right down there, you're gonna see the yellow lever. This is for the turning or the swivel. You're gonna pop this out, pull. What this does is releases the gear from here, just like that. And now you can swivel the seat just like this. And the last part, let me open this door here, is you're gonna get a backup crank, which will go right into here. You'll be able to put this in here and you have a crank and you'll be able to crank it and you'll be able to bring the seat back. That way you can fully bring the seat in. I currently don't have one to demonstrate, um, but I will be shipping one out to you. So here we have the Invicare M41. To, to, go on, uh, to turn on the chair, you wanna go ahead and hit this toggle switch there. We'll turn on the lights, hit it again, we'll turn it off. Uh, right here on the left side of it, we're gonna have our speed control all the way to the left, the slow. You go towards the right, it's gonna be faster. Of course, we have our joystick here to control the chair. This here is a little horn there. Here we're gonna have our charger. This is gonna plug into your normal 110 outlet. Three prong connector here is going to plug right in here into the joystick. On the back side here, we have an off and on switch. And here we're gonna have our indicator lights. Once this is plugged into the wall, we'll have a red light, red light that comes on. Once you plug into the chair, uh, the light here would be orange when it's charging and green when it's fully charged. Uh, right down here, we're gonna have our neutral levers. So right now, if I try to push the chair, you cannot move the chair, but if I were to hit these levers forward, now I can manually move the chair around. Um, but of course the chair will not work. So these need to be back into gear in order for the chair to start working again. So now we're gonna go over the Bruno curb saddle lift. So we're gonna go ahead and open up the back door. We're gonna go ahead and bring our power chair. And we typically want to line it um, with the side of the vehicle. Go ahead and pull the seat down. Make sure the chair is off. We're gonna gr grab a remote. We're gonna have our four buttons here. We have our up, down, out, and in. The first thing we want to do is hit our out button. And we typically want to bring the top of the uh, lift here right over the center of the seat. So we're roughly right around there. We're going to grab our C-arm and the part with the yellow tip is going to go right inside of the bracket here. Get it, slide it in. Once it's in there, you see that the holes line up. Go ahead and put the pin through. From there, we want to go ahead and lift the, the chair up. We also want to kind of keep a hand on it because the lift will swing a little bit. And we want to bring it all the way up. And we 
you want to get it high enough so we can clear the threshold here. From there, you want to hit the end button. And then from there, you can swing the wheels in. Go ahead and bring it down. Now, when we bring it down, we want to keep a little bit of tension on it. Otherwise, this is going to rattle. So you just want to keep it nice and snug just so this isn't moving. Grab this, hang it up here, and our on-off switch is there. We can hit that off. And then we can go ahead and shut the back door. If we're having issues with the lift and we cannot bring it in, um, there's gonna be two knobs on the front side, two knobs on the back side. You're gonna go ahead and remove those knobs. From there, you'll be able to lift this up. From there, we're gonna have our backup crank here. You're gonna to wanna to go in and take this off. This you'll put right onto the motor here and you'll be able to spin. As you spin this, we'll bring this arm either in or out. And that way, if, if the lift is stuck, you're able to bring it in and at least be able to drive the vehicle.